Hey, Flip, I know you don't like to actually edit anything, but if you could, I did, I, I did a quote tweet that was maybe a little brutal. I'm going to go with an L take on this one. You got to get that, then we'll continue from here. Okay, maybe the quote tweet was a little brutal. I'll, I'll give it for you. I really don't like this take at all. Uh, because, I mean, this take can literally... This, you could have made this exact same take with React when React came out, right? You could have made this take at any point with any software ever that's new, right? So why would anyone switch to React when there is jQuery? Why would anyone switch to jQuery when we already have, you know, JavaScript integrating with... Uh, with the DOM. Why would you ever need to do that? And second off, Svelte, first off, it's corporate backed. Whenever something's corporate backed, it just means that there's a lot more stuff to it, right? It means that there's a lot of people that are able, like, that are putting in serious money. There's multiple employees releasing like a ton of changes. They're absolutely murdering it. To say that React is the only industry standard is just out of this world right like this centric view that people have where it's just like there's only one world that exists and that world is react there is no other world there will never be any other world no i don't believe that and yeah i feel bad for flutter i mean it sucks you know flutter flutter is kind of sucky but here's the deal i want you to take something right here from this post which I do feel bad. Let's read it, and then we're going to take something uh, from this. I have worked professionally in Flutter for three years now. The company I worked for recently laid me off because of the difficult securing the next round of investment. And I'm in the market for a job, and and the, ma the majority of my recent experience is in Flutter. In my country, Canada, I am finding basically zero opportunities. One hiring, hiring manager said, it's hard to find a Flutter, uh, Flutter developers. I'm observing it is nearly impossible to find Flutter positions. So it's almost like no one at all is using Flutter. I'm a bit, uh, let's see, I have a feeling that by the end of 2024, Flutter might be completely an afterthought. Okay, so I want to throw this out here. And I'm going to mean this in the most sincere and genuine way. Don't be a React dev. Don't be a Flutter dev. Don't be a one-trick Andy. I mean this in the most sincere way. Learn things. Understand how a UI works. Build with multiple different perspectives so, such that when React inevitably dies, as the Roman Empire died, as everything eventually dies, you can just move on. You can adapt. You can go and do something so easy because you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm vaguely, I, you know, I've done a lot of UI work, right? You know how to say things. Yeah, I've built users' experience. I know how these all these things work. And, yeah, I'm pretty good with React. I've used a lot of React, but I've been using Flutter professionally, but I really understand these things. It's just so wild. This idea that you are just simply, you are a representation of the framework you use. If you like using Svelte because you find it much better, then use, use felt right like why what why 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 does it matter here's the thing though when svelte inevitably dies like everything eventually will including the the heat death of our universe right it doesn't really matter no it doesn't matter because at the end of the day you can still deliver a great message about how you understand how the world works how servers work you can be able to answer any technical questions and then guess what if they're like okay but what about this in react you can say hey i'm not as familiar with react but I think it's something like use ref, right? Is use ref, does this work? And they're like, yeah, this works that way. Okay, this is how I do it, right? You have enough experience to be able to talk about it, okay? I'm not, I don't even like React. And look at me, I know about use ref, okay? I know about use memo, okay? I don't want to know about them. I don't like them, but guess what? I still learn about it a little bit, right? And so I can answer any of these dumb questions just in case I need to answer them. I'm not going to be great at it, but I know a lot about it, right? Because the bigger thing is that I study the under underlying things please don't be a frameworker this should not exist this entire tweet should not exist it's not people's livelihood it's not a stupid game guess what it's what you're interested in and it's what makes you employable becoming a generalist foundation and a specific master in one area will do nothing but help you become a generalist first before you become a master and the problem is, is that everybody right now is just like React's the standard. We use React. And so the only thing you are is a React dev because that's all you know. Your foundation is React. Your mastery is React. You don't know anything but React from the tippity top to the bippity bottom. And what happens when that happens? You're very unemployable. Okay. 
it makes it super hard to hire you because I don't want to hire a React Andy. In fact, one of the largest problems I have when I was looking for some people to help me uh, with some of the tools we're building at Netflix, I could, it was so hard to find anyone that said they knew JavaScript and did years of JavaScript that didn't just simply that there weren't React Andes. I was like, okay, tell me about this in JavaScript. Well, actually, uh, so in React, I'm like, no, no, tell me about this in JavaScript. How does this work? Uh, well, I, I just use, you know, the thing is, is that you use Redux and I'm like, no, just build an async queue. Can you do that for me? Like, can you use JavaScript? Just JavaScript. It's like 15 lines. Write me 15 lines right now. And they, they, like very few people could. Sorry, I feel very strongly about this because like this tweet is the antithesis or what I think is killing or making engineering so hard. It's what I truly think is making this, this the two level uh, engineering, which is engineers who went and learned the foundation, built the generalist and is starting to specialize versus the engineers who just specialize and have no foundation. And so like, there's like these two class of people, React Andy or Generalist Andy. I would rather be a Generalist Andy. How to sort an array in jQuery, how to do math in jQuery. Well, there's actually the ad plugin. Did you know that? Uh, what's async? You know what async is. Uh, okay, well, I know you said something. I did actually want to read this. We're gonna pull it up. Come on, O Camel, my camel. I appreciate most of your messages, most of them. Prime Gen, one thought here. I was a full-time back-end guy and hated front-end, but learned React, Svelte, and Leptos and other front-end frameworks because it gives me a perspective. I even contributed a bunch to Flutter slash Leptos OSS project. Yup, uh, it has both uh, for some reason. <laughs> Look at that. I once failed an interview because I said, I know JS, and they asked me to implement async queues, and I was stuck. No way. Wait, did, you interv did I interview you? Wait, hold on. Did I interview you? Are you saying that I interviewed you? There's a chance here. I'm just saying there's a chance. Hate watcher. Oh my goodness. What do they call hate watchers? What I just heard the term this morning. There's like so what's what's the term for hate watchers? I know one of you I know one of y'all been watching uh aunties. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't realize I got some aunties in the chat. No, yeah. Let's go. I got myself an auntie. Uh appreciate that. Uh I, the old bait watching. <laughs> Go away, baiting. Uh, anyways, really genuinely appreciate this. I, I, I By the way, I want to make it clear. Don't dunk on Adam, okay? Dunk on a concept. That's fine. You can say, hey, I think you're totally wrong. I think that's cool. I think he will think that's totally cool. What you can't do is be like, Adam, you're an idiot. If you do that, you're not helping the conversation. You don't change anyone's mind. In fact, the only thing you do when you talk like that on the internet is uh, I did not call him an idiot. I said, this is a terrible take. This is an L take. L take is commenting on the take, not the person. L take, L take is totally about the take. The take is bad. I do not like it. I will never support that take. But the real talk is that you don't want people stuck thinking because then people go with the with the what's it called? They go with the idea of defending the person as opposed to the idea. There's no way of saying L take. Well, what else is it? I I thought it was about the take, TJ. Wait, time out. Are you telling me L take is about dunking on a person and not the take? Because it really needs to get fixed up then. Okay, I didn't say L person. It's a it's a, it's an L take because the take is bad. The name is the primogen.